Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, it's very cool. I, we're taking a look at a fixed blade. I know, right? A fixed blade on Big Red EDC. I know, I don't do them a whole lot, but I tell you what, this is one that really kind of caught my attention. Now, there's something special about this one. Because, as you guys know, by the time I've held on to this one for a while, guys, because I didn't review it before we did our 12 Days of Christmas giveaway because our good friends at Smoky Mountain Knife Works sent this out to us for that giveaway. So thank you very much uh, to Smoky Mountain Knife Works for doing that. SMKW.com. Really, really appreciate uh, you sending this one out. But yeah, it's a fixed blade. I know I don't do a whole lot of fixed blades. When I do, they are the smaller kind of EDC size. I mean, I've told the story uh, plenty of times, but, you know, fixed blades just kind of uh, make people do weird things up here. So, anyway, um, what makes it the exclusive? Well, you're kind of looking at one of them right there, that leather sheath. The leather sheath and the OD green handle. That's what makes it exclusive. They do have um, the normal, regular Biwa, I guess you could say. It's got a tan and black striped handle. And it actually comes with a kind of like a Kydex style, I think it's polypropylene, you know, that plastic style sheath that you can actually wear as a neck knife, which that is cool. I do like that aspect of it because this knife would make a really, really good neck knife. It's small, it's lightweight, perfect for that. Uh, but this one, the exclusive, comes with the leather sheath. And it's my favorite type of leather sheath. It's just that loop over you know, half to two-thirds of handle coverage. Really, really dig it, that style of leather sheath. And see, it looks like it's really well done. And it smells good. It smells like leather. As you can see there, you do have a lanyard hole. Let's pull it out there. There you go. There's your shot of the knife. Now, it's definitely a small fixed blade. Got your lanyard hole with some OD green paracord on it. But man, look at that little knife. OD Green G10 on the handle. Then you got the, you know, that OD Green CRKT likes to do the OD Green and orange. You got the orange liners. Full tang construction, as you can see there. CRKT got some nice jimping on it. Now that is, that's some aggressive jimping. I will tell you that. That jimping really, really grips. Now, I don't think it, to me, it's not sharp, but it is aggressive that is the best way to put it got a nice swedge there on that drop point blade 12c27 is your steel nice satin finish on it and of course it is an allen foltz design got a little leather leather schmutz on it right there but just a terrific little knife now this is a perfect little like bird and trout type knife you know these smaller fixed blades they often get referred to as bird and trout knives but it, it really is it's perfect for that great little like fat wood knife or a food food knife around the camp. Great for that. Cutting meat, that type of thing. Just a really, really awesome. And then, of course, it's perfect size for that EDC fixed blade. Very much. So let's get our specs out here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're looking at about, I'm getting about six and five eighths. What do they call it for the officially... They call it six and six, six point six three. So yeah, right in there, about a two and a half ish inch handle, and about a two, and about a three inch blade. I get, yep, three point oh two. What is that right for the handle? No, three and a half. I'm sorry, I said two and a half. Three and a half inch handle, and about a th just over a three inch blade. Um, kind of we do the grip length, but I mean your grip length is pretty much your full handle. Now you do have. Some nice little jimping under there to help kind of maintain that grip. Now, as far as your choil goes, you really don't have a choil, so you do have a little bit of a frown there, you know? So I know a lot of you, uh, when it comes like this, you guys cut in a choil. Might not be a bad idea. You know, I did buy one of these for myself because I was that interested in it. And, you know, I, I will probably cut just a little bit of a choil in there. Honestly, I probably will. Uh, it just makes it easier to sharpen. But overall, such an awesome little knife. We'll kind of give you just a, as far as length goes, 
we'll give you kind of a size comparison here. Move that out of the way. There is your bug out. So, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's shorter than the bug out by quite a bit. So, it's a small knife. It is a very, very small knife. But I like that. That's If I'm going to EDC a knife um, where I'm at, this is the exact type of knife I'm going to carry. Um, it's small. It's low profile. It's not... Oh, I want to say it's not aggressive, but... <laughs> depends on who you are is whether it's aggressive or not. But And then, obviously, the PM2 there is a much, much larger knife so let's get some weights here we're going to see what it weighs in the sheath and then without so 2.3 that's with the sheath wow what is it without 1.6 wow light light little knife but man is it such for me this is perfect this is a perfect EDC fixed blade. I mean, like I say, you guys know I trend towards the smaller knives anyway. But out of necessity, if I'm going to EDC a fixed blade, I usually EDC a neck knife or one that I can just, that's smaller and doesn't have a large profile. I mean, you guys have heard my story about the fixed blade and in my front yard and having, getting a visit from the nice sheriff's deputy. I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's why I EDC small blades. They're hardly noticeable and that type. So, but this is just a really, really cool knife. And once again, this is going to be one that you guys will see in the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. If you haven't seen that video, guys, I highly recommend you go check it out. Oh, let's take it out of the sheath. It doesn't need to be in the sheath. You guys want to see it. There you go. You guys got to go check out the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway video. Lots of cool stuff. There's going to be a pretty darn cool surprise for the first drawing on Christmas Day. You guys got you guys don't want to miss it. So get in on that. Let me know what you think, guys, about the Biwa. Like I said, this is the SMKW exclusive, the green uh, G10 and the leather sheath. They do also have the brown and black G10, I believe it is. Yep. And that one is 8CR. I forgot to tell you that. That one is 8CR, where this one is 12C. So, definitely some cool knives. And, yeah. Oh, what a price. This guy sells for 49 bucks, guys. $48.99. Not bad. Not bad at all for what you get. Really nice little knife. Like I said, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Get on to that giveaway video. You guys don't want to miss that, as always. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment, guys. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.